Aquarius, hello, welcome. Let's jump right in here and see what's going on with you today. All right. Now, um, this is a general reading, so of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possess777. And I do offer same day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you, Aquarius. All right. Um, we're going to start out with some opening oracle messages first here. And then we'll get to the tarot, Aquarius. Nose. Cat hair. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I like this Aquarius because it's kind of like, so from above, it went internal intuitive. So from here to here. So angel number seven. So you have number seven, angel number seven, angel number two, and angel number eight. So we have angel number seven, crown chakra. Angel number two, intuition. And angel number eight, positive movement forward. So you're literally you know, now, if not moving forward, you're going to progress. Your life is going to move in a positive direction because your crown chakra has been unlocked in a sense. You're like you, meaning literally it's just in layman's terms, you know some shit now. Like your brain's like, oh, okay, that's what's going on within myself or with others around me, with the world, whatever it is. And what happened is you now know how to figure out that gut feeling right here, that in here in your heart, you know how to talk to yourself inter internally. So now you know, oh, that's what it felt like when it felt wrong that one time with that one friend, da, 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 whatever example. And then now you know, oh, that's why it felt right with so-and-so or doing something, you're going to this restaurant. You know, I'm just an example. So because you now know here, you know here, and now you know with your stomach, three sources to feel, okay? Head, the brain, heart, chest, stomach. That saying, uh, they make me feel sick to my stomach. Listen to that. Or nah, they're making me feel my heart doesn't listen to that. Or you're like, I don't know. Listen to that. Okay. And that's what you're doing though. You're being intuitive with yourself. That's why things are starting to progress for you. That's why there's positive movement forward. Okay. Which is very nice here, Aquarius. All right, let's see more with the tarot here. Ooh, interesting. I like that. You're like, back the fuck up, past. <laughs> You're like, people from my past, stay in the back. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Leave me alone. Don't even try to come through here to me. <laughs> For some of you, you're like, uh-uh. No. I remember you. I remember your bad news. <laughs> okay? So you're ready to stand your ground. You're standing your ground. You're fighting for you. Okay? You're respecting yourself by doing that. That's helping you to literally, like, one, feel like a child in a good way. Feel really happy with yourself, okay? Um, some of you could be seeking counseling, which is wonderful. Others of you, it's more so that nostalgic, beautiful, loving, happy feeling. Now, there could be past stuff going on with yourself, but also from people from before or whatever it may be here. But at the same time, you're content with yourself. You're feeling loving and nurturing and kind to all and with yourself. And that's why you're just chilling. You're reflecting. You're hanging out. You're like, yeah, hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, you know when you feel stuck, but then you know how to unstuck yourself and just get out of the situation if you need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it may cause a little bit of anxiety and stress, but it's because you're really excited and passionate to do something here with someone or just with yourself here. It's like there's a lot of passion. You're moving really quickly here, Aquarius, in a good way. And it's in a way where you're confident with your plans. Like, you know you're not going to mess up. If that makes sense here. You know that feeling when you just know you like you got it in the bag? It's like scoring a goal. You know what I mean? Like in, in any kind of game, you're like, no, no, no. You know the play. You guys study, you guys worked on it all throughout practice for the whole season. Here it is. All right, you pass it one person. Okay, they're gonna pass it to you. 
boom either you assist that shit or you fucking score that damn goal yourself aqua and that's what you're doing here yeah exactly you're like right the fuck on exactly and that's why because you're being you okay you're being authentic whether people take it good or bad who cares <laughs> who cares they need to go to the care bears for that <laughs> you know and so now you know how to feel emotionally successful because you realize you don't give a shit about anything or anyone else just as long as what's important is you and so because you feel good being you you are successful therefore that's how you manifest more success because as long as you're always being true to yourself with that intuition you can never go wrong and that's why you're in this energy of willing to be equal giving sharing loving kind to others around you especially to yourself and being fair um genuine authentic neutral exchanges you're actually giving me goosebumps that's weird i mean that's good i'm just kind of like i've never gotten that from you before <laughs> like actually i'm like what the hell like a chill cold breeze Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Right. Now you're independent. You're working. You're focused. You're hardworking. Okay. And honestly, I just, I, I see that you're healing. You know, like you're hardworking, independent. You're making your money. You're abundant. Okay. You know how to be your entrepreneur. You're doing well. That's not the problem. There's no problem really. You found out who or what's genuinely fucking toxic in your life, whether it's about yourself or someone or whatever. It might be a little scary and or painful. I don't know on what degree, you know, on like some full blown crying your eyes out for days pain or I kind of gets more so like, oh, fuck, you know, like mm, that's who or what is going on. It's toxic. Yeah, I don't want to fucking do that, you know, and so now you know what or who to part ways with at the same time how to heal within yourself is it scary it always is going to be it's always going to be scary because having to express and and, and change and be a truth and and all that it, it, it sucks but then you feel better like you know those things like those memes or those those stories or shows where the person's like fuck i feel so much better i finally said everything i had to say and you know what ah I'm like, wow, you know, you're having that moment with yourself here. So maybe it's a little bit fearful or restrictive or even a little heartbreaking or just kind of like, I think because you're such an Aquarius, you're kind of like, no, this shit's over with, isn't it? You know what I mean? With something or someone, but you're working at it. Oh my God. As I said that, you know what? You're, you stop it. You're giving goosebumps today. You're, you're literally working at it though. I, you saw that. You saw that. Aquarius. What are you doing? Look at you being a king of swords, top of the deck, chilling. You fucking know what the fuck's going up. What's over here, bottom of the deck? Boom. Who's the queen of swords? There we go. Someone. Someone in your future or someone now, Aqua. You dope. Or you're both of them. Fuck it. You know how to go through your feminine and masculine. We all have it within us. Doesn't matter our gender. You're doing the work. You, you know what to do. You're productive. You're focused. You're doing it. You know what I mean? You're going to show up and keep doing what you got to do here, yeah, Aquarius. Wow. This was really great. I really like this reading. Um... You could be dealing with a water sign, fire sign, or an earth sign. All right. Thank you. Bye.